Use the table below to calculate the federal income tax due for a taxable income of $320,000. Now here it's just strictly a matter of learning how to read the table and then doing a little bit of arithmetic. So here's what they're saying. When you look at your taxable income, you go to the taxable income column and you find the row that contains your taxable income. So you look for $320,000. Well, well $320,000 is not zero, it's not $7,550, it's not thirty. In fact, uh, you get uh, in the range of 320000 right here. That's the low value and that's the high value. So this 320000 is between 154800 and 336500 So you've got to take that taxable income and find the row that corresponds to the range containing it. And once you do, you have to read it properly. It says the tax is, the tax is, what? Well, the tax is $37,675.50, and then there's a plus sign, plus 33% of something, of the amount over $154,800. So what you have to do is take how much the taxable income went over this amount by. Well, you find out the difference how much something went over by by subtracting. So if you take the $154,800 and subtract, that's the difference. So it's 33% of the difference or the amount over $154,000. $800. Now make sure before we go forward that you've got it. It says from the table, I'm reading this line right here, that the tax is $37,675.50 plus, I'm reading this off, plus 33%, so I'm just writing it down, 33% of of what? Of the amount that went over 154800 So to find out how much it went over by, you subtract. So you subtract 320000 minus 154800 So what you end up with, and I'll just write it out in bitter detail, plus when you take 33% of something, you want to change it to a decimal, that's 0 0.33. 33% of the difference between those two numbers. Now, I've already said that's going to, going to be 320,000 minus 154,000. And let's make a little bit of room here so I don't look so messy. 154,800. Now it's just an arithmetic problem. So the answer is this calculation. So that's going to be $37,675.50 plus 33.33 times. Now you've got to subtract 320000 and uh, 154800 If you do that on your calculator, you'll find out that that comes out to be $165,000. $200. Now, order of operations says you do the multiplication first, so now I'll say the answer is 37,675.50 plus, now you take 165,200 times 0.33 and hit equal, and you will end up with 54,500. 
516 dollars and now I simply add those two numbers together and you'll end up with ninety two thousand one hundred ninety one dollars and fifty cents so according to the tax tables the federal income tax due for a taxable income of three hundred twenty thousand dollars is ninety two thousand one hundred ninety one dollars and fifty cents so you find where the taxable income lies row wise in this table then you take the number that the base number they give you the tax being and add on whatever percentage they give you and again if you want to see it better let's just move that out of the way the percentage multiplied by how much your taxable income differs from this amount right here it's just a matter of practice